What's going on YouTube? GSNOR8 here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 12 jailbreak on the 4K devices like the iPhone 6, 5S and so on. You probably know these were not supported by default because the exploit wasn't working with the A7, A8, A8X and so on devices. Now we have improvements on that and we finally have coverage for those devices. So Pound Own has posted just a few hours ago, quote, successfully got Uncover running on 4K device on iOS 12 with the Vintex exploit. Now this one here is an exploit by Timstar, we're going to get into that. But by 4K, they pretty much mean devices with the 4K page size or 4 kilobytes page size. Now this is important to remember because the newer devices like the iPhone 7 and 8 and 10 and so on have 16k page size so that is very important the exploit that has been released with tfp0 or kernel task port was initially made around the idea of 16k which as i said means newer devices like the iphone 7 and 7 plus and 8 and so on now the iphone 6 and the iphone 5s and the ipod touch 6 generation these were not supported and of course now we finally have progress on that department and i will be updating geofalza to work on ios 12 on 4k devices as well very soon. Now Pound to Own was indeed helped by Jake James, the developer behind the rootless jailbreak, and he said in here, quote, here's my improved version of Ventex, doesn't require offsets anymore. And he says, quote, and here is the update for rootless integrating this. Now of course he also said, quote, a nonce setter for all A7 and A8 devices can be made. Now the A7 and A8 pretty much refer to these devices like the iPhone 5s and iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, and of course the iPod Touch 6th generation, which were not previously supported and now they are. Now a known setter is pretty much used to downgrade with the blobs. In order to be able to downgrade with your saved SHSH blobs, you would need to set the knowns from the blob into the NVRAM or non-volatile RAM. And for that of course you need a known setter which would unlock the NVRAM and would allow you to set the value so that you can downgrade. So yeah, this is done of course with an exploit. The uh, exploit was initially made by Tim Star. He posted posted it here on Twitter and of course with a link to GitHub and it's called Ventex but this one wasn't actually usable by default. There were a lot of modifications that needed to be made because by default it was coded to work around iPhone 6.2 which is pretty much the iPhone 5S on iOS 12.1.2. Any other device would have to be hard-coded, of course, with its own offsets. Now what Jake did was to pretty much remove the need for hard-coded offsets and make it better by adding some component from EMBeer. So that's pretty much it about it, we're finally seeing Uncover being updated for the iOS 12 on 4K devices, and of course I will update Geofalza very soon for 4K as well, so that you guys on iPhone 6, 6 Plus, iPhone 5S, iPod Touch 6th generation and possibly some iPads can use this as well. So yeah, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to stay updated, we'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community, till the next time, peace out.